Hey there, Sister Cerise here. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day this far. All right, Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas. Is their relationship fake? A lot of people think that it is uh, because sometimes their relationship seems awkward. Well, let's pull the cards first on Priyanka. Let's see what Priyanka is all about. Let's look at her past. All right. So in the past, she was the type of woman that stuck to her goals, her ideas. She felt like she was born for greatness and she knew what her strengths were. She knew that there was change coming in her life. She did want to go to Hollywood. She really did. And she built her life in order to do that. Let's look at her present position. All right. So presently, she is taking it easy. She's She's got a lot of projects on her hands, and she's looking at her future very carefully. She is trying to move through life with composure. She's trying to move through life with peace in a great fashion. She does not want to upset the ground that she walks on. However, she does want to make a mark in this world. So there's a lot of power that she's working with in regards to her personality. And there's also a lot of power that she's working with in regards to her career. And also the peace that she wants to achieve in the future. Speaking of future, let's look at the future. All right. So in the future, she just wants to be able to not worry about money. She doesn't want to worry about her reputation. She doesn't want people to speak badly about her. She wants to get over any emotional torment that she experienced at all in her lifetime, whether it was in her career, whether it was in her culture, or if it was just within relationships. She really, in the future, will get to a point where she's just going to get past the ish. Now let's do a past, present, future poll on Nick Jonas, her husband. All right, here we go. Nick Jonas, he's, you know, I mean, just on a moment, on Priyanka for a moment, she's from India and she was in Bollywood and she did make it to Hollywood now. Nick Jonas, for those of you who don't know, he is from the Jonas Brothers, the group that used to be quite popular back in the day and then he broke out on his own. So let's pull on his past um, just in general. All right. So like Priyanka, he also knew that he was more than a boy band. He knew that there was more for him in the world to establish a uh, a stronger foundation in life and also have more of a easier life not necessarily easy peasy and not work for it but you know in the future have something that he can rely on and feel secure with let's look at and also he also was willing to travel the world to do that let's look at his present position Ooh. The same card that Priyanka got for her future position. So that's where he's at right now. He's he's getting over the ish. You know, he had to go through a lot of ridicule with the whole boy band thing and the whole family band. And he went through a lot of teasing in his time, but he grew up past that. He got past it. He's a man now. He feels very secure about himself. Um, you know, he can sometimes be insecure like most people, but overall at this position in, in his life right now, he feels like he has a good wife and he feels like he is moving on towards dry land so he can become more stable and secure. His future? Bright, shiny days. There we go. So his future, he wants children. He wants to make sure that he gets the fruit from his labor and he wants to plant good seeds and have good things grow so he wants all his ideas for his projects to come to fruition as well him and his wife are very busy people now let's look at 
their past, present, and future relationship. Okay, so let's look at the past and their relationship. Let's see if this is a fake. No, it's not a fake. They really, really had a tough time getting together. They have their story about how they met up at a couple of places, like just kind of because for work, you know, different events, and they saw each other. And then finally, Nick he said that his friend said to him, you know, you should really meet Priyanka. You should really, I think you two would make a good couple. And the friend never did connect the two of them. So Nick, in frustration, contacted Priyanka and DM'd her. And he direct messaged her on social media and she answered. And um, the two of them started to talk from there. So there was a connection that they had. They were frustrated. She was focused on her career. She was focused on growing. She didn't really have much of a focus on him. Him, however, Nick, Nick had a focus on Priyanka and he was frustrated trying to get in touch with her. All right, let's look at the present of their relationship. Presently, they are pretty cool. There's a lot of love, a lot of give and take, a lot of balance. He supports her and what she does, and she supports him and what he does. They truly are like an undercover royal couple. He loves his wife very much, and she loves him. Now, the reason why they're probably a little awkward in public is because he is a reserved type of guy. He likes to have his fun, but he's also very businesslike, and his image is very important to him. He comes from a good family and a Christian background type of thing, a good foundation, so he respects himself. And when it comes to Priyanka, she comes from an Indian background and a very stern culture where they respect themselves and they're not always out in the public eye like us in the North American continent you know they're not always doing public displays of affection and so they're very reserved and in, in with their relationship but you can see that there is some heated passion between the two of them now let's look at the future Ooh, there's a lot of love pregnancy there's also long-term relationship marriage keeping their business to themselves very much like ryan and eva and you know what they're leading a very happy peaceful life eva and uh ryan eva mendez and ryan gosling and so these guys i think this is exactly how they're doing it as well and yes, they did have frustration in the beginning of their relationship, which means that there was some passion. They're not a fake couple. Right now, they are both providing for each other. They're supporting each other. They're loving each other. And in the future, it looks like these two could last. So let's send some prayers their way. Let's support them. And let's be the fans that say to them, hey, we are also your friends. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. My name is Sister Cerise, and I would love it so much if you could please subscribe to my channel. It only takes a second. And guess what? When you do that, I know that you are enjoying the content and I'll upload more. Please stay tuned for more true crime tarot readings. That's right. I have tarot and true crime re readings. I plan on bringing those out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but we'll have to see. Right now, so far, it's two Thursdays and you can check out last Thursdays. But also I'm going to be doing some relationship, celebrity relationship readings like Beyonce and Jay-Z and... Rosling, I mean, Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendes and all the rest of them. So guys, give me some ideas down below. I've been looking at a lot of your comments. Thank you so much for commenting. And I have a few that I'm going to be knocking out the ballpark in the next few days. So make sure you like and share, share, share and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Alrighty, guys, I love you. Huge hugs, loads of love, big blesses.